Sorry, yeah, Jeff Martin with Defense News. You talked about things that Marine Corps got to go and diet, so to speak. Like, what's your number one priority to cut out for the force? Big, heavy things, uh, man, counter armor, uh, big, heavy things or big things, period, big, expensive things that we can't either afford to buy or afford to maintain over the life of it. Things that don't fit aboard ship, things that can't fire hyper velocity projectiles, things that can't have don't have the range that we're going to need or the precision, but are also mobile expeditionary enough that we can come, we can operate from ship or ashore and move back and forth freely. Manned things, manned logistics vehicles, manned logistics aircraft. All those things we're going to trim down. How imminent do you see those changes making throughout in the next four years of your tenure? Absolutely, on? yes. But the redesign of the Marine Corps, we chose deliberately a 10 year out horizon because we tried to do this before in years past, three or four or five years out, and it's too, it's impossible to do inside uh, the fight up, inside their personnel sort of cycles. So they weren't as successful as they could have been. We picked intentionally 10 years out. So the force, we need, we're, those changes will be made over 10 years, but some will happen very quickly, beginning next year. Can you give us a preview of any of those? Next Can't, year? but oh, in about 60 days, we will. And the reason why, just to finish up, the last step of this redesign of our Marine Corps, what we're gonna need a decade out, the last step is, the, is, is as important as the others. And that's actually modeling, simulating that force against what we think the threat will and change in variables each run over and over and over again to find out where exactly the risks are. We're in the last stages of that. I think by the end of January, early February, we're ready to go. Thanks, sir. But we'll, we'll make adjustments along the way.